Guaranteed Success How to Get Rid of Mice 8 No-Fail Tips to Mouse Freedom So you got a mouse infestation and you're not quite sure of the best way to get rid of mice. Maybe you've got mouse feces or urine in your food pantry or maybe mice are eating holes in your upholstery, boxes, clothes and such. Or maybe you're just concerned about the diseases that they carry and the safety of your kids and your pets. Whatever the concern, you want an effective option that will effectively rid you of these little buggers. And you want something that won't potentially harm your kids or your pets. For some of you watching, getting rid of mice naturally and humanely is also an important consideration. You don't hate mice, you just don't want them in your home. If any of these descriptions fit you, keep watching, because this is going to be a no-fluff video to point out some of your absolute best ways to get rid of mice simply, quickly, and inexpensively. Stay tuned. All right. So you've decided to keep watching, so clearly you're looking for ways to get rid of mice and you're hoping that I've got answers for you. Luckily, I do. Of course, there are a thousand different suggestions out there for getting rid of mice, but only a small handful are going to be effective for the vast majority of people. So I'm not going to give you dozens of ways to get rid of mice in your apartment, house, attic, or garage. Instead, I'm going to give you about eight really good tips that should do the trick. Four of these tips have nothing to do with killing the mice, but are more so mouse repellent type tips. The other four deal more exclusively with actually killing the mice via various means, none of them via chemical though. So let's get started. <laughs> well, almost. First, I wanted to tell you about a special offer I'm making to viewers of this YouTube video. But before I tell you about the offer, you need to know something else. If you click the link below this video to visit my website, you'll find even more info, resources, and links to help you make the most of the suggestions made in this video. As regards the special offer, I'm running a little contest. When this video reaches 300 YouTube likes, I'm going to randomly choose one lucky commenter to receive a gift. They'll receive my Mouse Be Gone kit, which contains a number of the items that I suggest in this video for ridding yourself of mice. So if you hear some good info in the video, don't forget to like it. And don't forget to leave a comment as well, because only those who comment on the video are eligible to win the Mouse Be Gone prize. Okay, now let's get started. We'll start with the mice repellent options first, since if you can keep the mice from bothering you in the first place, there's really no need to kill them. Of course, there are those who see mice as nothing more than a nuisance and are happy to kill them. I really have no judgment on that issue, since I see that there are merits to both sides of that argument. So I'll simply provide you with options on both sides, and you can choose what works for you. Our first repellent type option is peppermint essential oil. Uh, this is one that actually has worked very effectively for me. We use it to winterize our camper in the fall. I cut a kitchen sponge into about eight pieces. I get them damp and then add a few drops of peppermint oil to each piece of sponge. Then place those pieces in strategic places around the house, garage, etc. In my case, it's strategic places around the camper. I've done this for about two winters now. I'm pretty sure it's two. Uh, and we've had excellent results. No mouse droppings, no damage upon opening the camper the next spring. So I've been pretty pleased. So that might be one to consider. But um, another one, and, and this one might be rather obvious, but in our haste to find a simple solution, it's often overlooked, even though it might be the most valuable option that we've actually got. The best repellent to mice is simply to seal off all possible entry points. Uh, of course, this is easier said than done in some instances. But if we're talking about a shed or camper or garage or similar area that we're trying to mouse proof, you might want to look at this option first. 
Of course, it doesn't hurt for the house as well, it's just not quite as easy for a home. Mice can fit through holes that you'd never think they could, so be sure not to overlook anything. Any hole you can find should be filled with anything that would be tough for mice to chew through. Obviously, you'll know if you've sealed it off once signs of the mice are no longer present. That is, assuming, of course, that you've gotten rid of the mice that had already gotten in. This next one might also seem like an obvious one, and it isn't necessarily going to solve your entire problem, but it is something worth paying attention to. Simply keeping things clean and not leaving anything out to attract mice in the first place really can help quite a bit. Again, it's not a complete solution, but if you've got mice already, you don't want to give them any additional reasons to show up in areas where you'll be coming into contact with them or whatever they might leave behind. So keep all food picked up, counters clean, floors swept, etc. Now, there are a few other repellent type options that are often recommended by others, but I'm not going to recommend them. I'll mention them here so that you know what they are, but as a result of their hit and miss success and or the difficulty of implementation, I'd say they're not likely options that you should spend a lot of time or money on. The first is those ultrasonic mouse repellent type mechanisms. Uh, you plug them in the wall and um, you know there's there's a whole bunch of an, uh, a whole bunch of them out there and uh, they're supposed to admit uh, a sound that you can't hear but mice will hear and, and won't like. Unfortunately, the reviews typically aren't all that great, so I wouldn't count on them being all that terribly effective. In my opinion, save your money, don't buy one. Now, another option that is sometimes recommended and might actually be effective is to leave snake or cat feces in those areas where you have a mouse problem. Now, since these are natural predators of mice, this would likely deter the mice from entering those areas. However, I'm really not sure how easy it's going to be to procure snake poop. And if you've got cat poop around, that means you probably have a cat. So unless you're feeding your cat so much that it's not hungry enough to chase down your mice, you probably wouldn't have a mouse problem to worry about in the first place. And quite frankly, let's face it, placing predator poop around your house to get rid of the mice that leave behind mouse poop doesn't really sound like much of a solution. So you won't find me recommending this one either. Now last on my list of repellents is one that I don't personally know much about because I haven't really tried it but I have read some good things about it. It's called Fresh Cab and it might be an option for you to consider. It's an all-natural re repellent type product and it works similar to peppermint oil. I can't speak to its effectiveness and it's pretty pricey so I would say try the peppermint oil first but if the peppermint oil doesn't work and you don't really like the idea of trapping or killing the mice this might be something to consider. Okay so we've got the mice repellent options out of the way and of those I'd say the peppermint oil and or the fresh cab product are likely the uh, simplest and probably most uh, effective options that you could choose. So let's move on to trapping the mice, which quite frankly is probably the best way to get rid of mice as long as you buy the right trap. Within the trapping category, we've really got two basic types. You've got the kill traps and you've got catch traps. Now, obviously which you choose probably depends a lot on personal preference and whether you want to kill the mice or not, but there are a few things to consider either way. First, consider that with all traps, there's always the matter of disposal or release of the mice. If your trap kills the mouse, then you've got to get the dead mouse out of the trap, dispose of it, and you've got to reset the trap. In addition, some traps are more likely than others to simply injure and trap the mouse, but not actually kill it as intended. Obviously this isn't very humane and makes the job of disposal just that much more difficult. In addition, for some, that can be a pretty emotionally uncomfortable situation. It's impossible to avoid that situation entirely. It's going to happen once in a while. But if you're purchasing a kill trap, at least make sure that you get one that will put you in this position as infrequently as possible. 
Of course, going with a live catch trap, trap isn't all sunshine and roses either. Obviously, if you're one who doesn't want to kill the mice, this is likely going to be your best option. But understand that you're really going to want to release them probably a good mile or more from your home to make absolutely certain that they won't be bothering you anymore. And this might simply make them someone else's problem, depending upon where you choose to release. In addition, some traps are more difficult than others when it comes to actually releasing the mice. Since mice often carry disease, you don't really want there to be any chance of you coming into contact with the mice during the release process. So pay attention to this when purchasing a live catch type trap. Moreover, some of the uh, live catch type traps are more likely than others to injure a mouse in the process, which puts you right back in that uncomfortable position of having to deal with a half-dead mouse and trying to dispose of it. It's really not very fun. So again, stick with a trap that will put you uh, in that position uh, as few times as possible. A couple of other points to consider. Some live catch type traps will only catch one or two mice at a time. Depending on how bad your problem is, this might be fine or it might end up being an issue. Just know that there are options out there that will trap up to a half a dozen mice at a time for not all that much more money and that might be a much more convenient situation. And if you go with a kill trap, know that in most cases it's only going to kill one mouse at a time without having to be emptied and reset. So if you got a lot of mice and you're looking at purchasing a kill trap, consider purchasing numerous traps and setting them all at once to catch as many possible in the shortest period of time. Also, no matter what type of trap you choose, be sure to wear gloves when handling them at all times. Mice have a very keen sense of smell, so if your human scent is on the trap, you'll make it less effective than it could be, which obviously kind of defeats the purpose. Or if you don't want to use traps at all, consider natural predators. Seriously, if you don't already own a cat, it wouldn't hurt to consider one. As long as you're not overfeeding them, most cats will prove to be excellent mousers, with the side benefit of also being a great companion, depending on the cat. Another natural predator of mice is actually an owl of just about any type. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy a pet owl, but it's not all that terribly difficult to encourage owls to take up residence outside your home, at least if you don't live deep in the city. And they'll do a pretty good job of keeping rodents to a minimum in your area. A family of owls can actually eat 8 to 10 rodents each and every night. That's a few thousand rodents each and every year, in addition to all the large insects that they'll also eat, which can help you in the garden as well. Besides, how cool would it be to have a family of owls living in your yard? Well, that about ties things up for the video portion of this How Do I Get Rid of Mice tutorial. Of course, any single tip from this video may not be a guaranteed get rid of all your mice success. But implementing multiple of these tips simultaneously is very likely to get your mouse problem under control. And if you head over to my website, the link is below the video, you'll find a number of other tips, explanations, and resources to help you properly implement the suggestions from this video for maximum success. But remember, before you go, don't forget to like the video and leave your comment so that you can get yourself entered into the drawing for the free Mice Be Gone kit that I'm giving away. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos. I actually do know how to do a lot more than just get rid of mice. Thanks a bunch and have a good day.